Hi guys, I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to the final video today, episode 2 of this doubleheader here on Moshi Monsters Biography. And we have a new subscriber to the channel, so yay! Welcome to the channel, Jesse Mitchell! Wow! That's right, Jesse Mitchell, you are the newest subscriber to the channel, so thank you so much for subscribing. Oh my gosh, we're on our, as we are on our way to 700 subscribers. So thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, Jesse Mitchell, you want to go check out the channel, there will be a link to that on the top right corner of the screen, where you can click right now. And watch it however you want. But right now, <laughs> however, if I can't find it, I'll leave it in the description below. So thank you for subscribing, JC Mitchell. You, you are the best. Better than the rest. So thank you so much. All right, enough talk. Let's get right into the episode. We we got another ball. Let's just take a look at this one. It's out of the sporty set. First one to do so was the Super Washing Bart. All the way back on episode 16. Then we traveled all the way to the top with the first actual mosh link in that set triples on episode 107 and then we took a look at the most recent mosh link from that set lummox who was on episode 237 now we are taking a look at our third mosh link to come out of that set so get ready for it we are we are all years on this and it's gonna be another epic mosh link to take a look at another epic biography if we hear on the show so if you're ready let's begin so yes welcome to episode 308 of Moshi Monsters by me today, we are taking a look at Pokito, the mini mangler. Get ready for it. It's gonna, it's gonna be a big one. I promise you. It's gonna be wow. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be really, really big. And it's happening right now. So let's begin. If you haven't seen our previous episode, which is episode 307, where we took a look at our an upcoming watch link, Plucky, the uh, the proper pud, out of uh, uh, who happens to be an upcoming watch link. There will be a link to that on the top of our screen. Up there, you can see the episode with the click right now. But for now, let's get right into the story. Are you ready? Great, then. Here we go. So let's get started. So, who is Pokito? Pokito, the mini mangler, is an ultra rare in in the sporties. They love that they love wrestling and refuse to take the mask off. They make that uh, they made their debut in season two, mission four, joining in Cirque du Bonvot as a cannibal actor using a rigged hammer. You can cheat yourself into getting. Uh, into getting the high score of, uh, of the high striker, which Poquito uh, challenged you to if you wanted their aid. And somewhere, Clover the Rainbow, you have to do this a second time and somehow still have, still have the rigged hammer. But when you get it, Poquito cries out, Not again! And hands over the item you needed. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for po Poquito. You really love it. Oh my gosh. I'll go to the character's house. There's Pokito says 40. He's watching there. It's 111. Again, 111. That's right. Triple 11. <laughs> That's right. Triple 1. Maybe. Triple 1. Very funny. A species mini mangler. Rare release, ultra rare release on June 14, 2012. The figure sister is 4. And for the watching combination. Again, he made his debut in season 2. Mission 4. Big top ballet. Who? So you might. So you might. So you must. So you must complete him to catch Pokizo. So that's pretty much it. Now on to the biography. Tremendously strong and super elastic-y, many mangles are the mysterious Max Moshlings who can't stop wrestling. If you find one practicing the latest eye-watering moves, do not disturb, or you might find yourself in a spinning headlock with a with a full Nelson fajita in your face. Yuck! Oh, no good. Uh, going into the clutch sky. Tremendously strong and super elastic-y, many mangles are the mysterious Max Moshlings who can't stop wrestling. If you find one practicing the latest eye-watering moves, do not disturb, or you might find yourself in a spinning headlock. I recently asked a mini mangler to remove its mask for a photo, but bad idea as it proceeded to perform a body avalanche on my camera before putting me a short arm scissor lock. I couldn't tie my shoelaces for a week. The mini mangler thought it was hilarious and celebrated by rubbing a full Nelson fajita in my face. Oh yeah, I know. For the habitat in the atomic sub slam blast, stainless slam buster, a secret training camp near the giant haystacks of El Astico. Ranch, oh my gosh. A uh, personality, athletic, strong, rubbery, likes nacho and taco. How do dislikes referees and biting? Ooh, no. Definitely no good, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so let's go to the character's Uh, main, Poquito, and the rest of the wrestling obsessed mini, mini manglers come from a secret, from a secret training camp in the giant haystacks of El Elastico Ranch called the Atomic Slam Buster. These super strong sporties are masters of countless colossal wrestling moves, fighting, oh my god, including the full Nelson Fajita and spinning headlock. Ouch! Oh my gosh, Fitty fighting face. Mini manglers are incredibly stretchy, stretchy and flexible, helping the beat their opponents with ease. But underneath all their grappling garb and bar 
and brawling bravado, these masked moshlings are very secretive souls. In their timeouts, they often like to nibble on nachos for dueling fuel and to cover themselves in taco powder. All fired up! Athletic Poquito is a very brave uh, mini mangler moshling who loves entertaining and putting on a fighting performance, even if it's not, even if it means turning into a critter cannibal who, and of a xenophile, moshing type sporties species mini mangler habitat. Yeah, Thomas Slambuster, sporty sidekicks are Ruby, Lummox, and Dribbles. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see, Lummox and Dribbles were not included in the, uh, in the character encyclopedia, so I had to put them in there to complete the sporty set. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, for the notes, mini, mini mushroom muscles, large mouth for grunting, so the belt adds a bit of battle blink. Who yeah. Man, this is a lot of fun. Uh, in the Mojipedia, Tremendously strong and super elastic game. Mini Minklers are the mysterious mass monsters who can't stop wrestling. If you find one practicing the latest more eye-watering moves, do not disturb or you might find yourself in a spinny headlock with a full nose of a heat on your face. Yuck! Ugh. No way. Uh, in over in Washington Rescue. Um, and, if I, and, and in Washington Rescue. Hey, I'm Bokito. I'm in desperate need of rescuing from bonus. Level 20. I may be small, but I'm... Incredibly brave. I don't know many, many moshlings that 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 would be happy to turn themselves into a greater cannibal. If only that skill could help me out of this sticky situation. You may never know. Hashtag moshling rescue. Hashtag moshling. Hashtag rescue. Hashtag mosh rescuer. Hashtag poquito. So that's pretty much it. Let's go over to the fiction for poquito occupations. Dot man slash strong man as moshi slash bonbon debut. Big time body who. Relationships include Sweet Tooth, Dr. Steve Bings, and Cherry Bob. Ooh, yeah. Uh, that, uh, sweet, fit. Uh, sweet Tooth will be discussed in a future episode of the series, so keep an eye out for when it comes out. Dr. Steve Bings and Cherry Bomb have, were both discussed in past episodes in the past episodes of the series, so please give, give, give these two episodes a watch if you haven't seen those two yet. Um, so give that a watch. So, yes, yeah, so again, Sweet Tooth will be in a future episode series. Keep an eye for those. Dr. C. Fangs and Sweet Tooth Cherry Bomb have both discussed, both discussed in past episodes of the series. Dr. C. Fangs was, was on episode 105, and Cherry Bomb was on episode 65. So, give these two episodes a watch if you haven't seen it yet. Guy, good. Continuing on with the fiction. One must respect the mask, whether worn by a hero or a villain. Bokito debuts in Season 2, Mission 4, Big Top Ballyhoo, as one of the circus's performers. Uh, performers. Monsters from all around uh, from all around, come to see Picante Poquito launch, launch himself out of a cannon. Super Boshi does not know how does, does not know him as usual, which surprises Prideful Poquito. He, he is found at, at backstage. Next to his caravan, part next to the candy, uh, part next to candy, candy to clowns caravan, where he is working out before his performance. Bokito is very fond, fond of cherry bomb and requests Super Boshi to get uh, to get one of those cherry bomb plushies from the fun fair sh uh, shop in return uh, of granting access to the Big Ten. He's just so explosive with power. After seeing, after having seen his show, Bokito stands outside the tent. Uh, and it's approached by Super Moshi to compliment him. He states it is the best thing the circus has to offer, as even the Test Your Strength game is rigged, which has his name on the leaderboard first, and on the first, second, and third place. Super Moshi offers to fix it, and Poquito suggests to find something sticky, like the goo trails clumps, uh, the goo trail clumps, uh, uh, leave behind, and something heavy, like his... The barbells he left fast stage. As per Poquito suggested to drop a weight on the straight tester, Super Moshi successfully cheats their way to the highest score of the leader of the, of the leading board. <laughs> or should I say leaderboard? I know. Uh, Poquito, who has never been beaten at his score, is astonished by Super Moshi's supposed strength and earned his respect, which Poquito hopes to earn back from Super Moshi as well. After Zoshlinko's show, Super Moshi figures Poquito. Can understand the uh, the the, the poquito can up on masking. Uh, uh, Candy the clown, poquito reacts with defending their colleague, but uh, but believes Super Moshi upon stage is saying is actually sweet tooth in disguise. You never unmask a true fighter, poquito 
codify Poquito on candy. Poquito is glad to help Superboshi and states that uh, and states they would never uh, that they would need to fuse a fire. They would need the fuse and fire. Poquito happens to have seen a real cherry bomb among the among the plushies and also that a fiery character, Bernie, was stuck in Quack Attack. Uh oh. Bernie, huh? Never seen that before. He was in the BC set. I already talked about him, and I already talked about him on episode 51 of that show, so give that a watch if you haven't seen it yet as well. Um, upon gathering, everyone, you commence the plan of launching Poquito into Candy, whose identity is revealed by losing their Candy to Clown attributes. Sweet Tooth makes their escape, and Poquito can't be, be collected as a Moshlings for your zoo. As a Moshlings for your zoo, so now you know. Uh, staying with the fiction, in Music, Islands, in Music Island Missions, Clock Strikes Back. Poquito demands a total of six plushies, one person per Boshi. He eventually only gets five of them, but not point uh, is made of that. Attempting to give more than one plushie to Poquito in the mission, as you can win unlimited, will lead him into uh, will lead him to state what is plenty. One of the plushies at the fun fair is the real Cherry Bob sitting between them. Pulling them out will make ask will make ask Super Boshi ask what. They are doing he, he, he there. There's no response or interaction with Cherry Pop, and they and they remain standing in in front of the shop. You 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 later need them to be the the, the fuse and fuel to, for the cannon. Pokito to suggest you know, suggested to use the law to use to launch it himself and to Katie the clown. The Cherry Pop plus she is the second best thing about the circus. At the me, Pokito continue. Jumping from up, uh, jumping up from the ground and striking poses in front of in front of the supers, so strong, so red, so explosive. <laughs> okay, in somewhere close to the rainbow, O'Reilly sends you to fetch, uh, sends you of to fetch the green item, the gooey green beans, uh, beans on beans, which uh, which he assumes Poquito has. Upon arriving at Cirque de Moshi, which Poquito's the states is closed for now. Poquito assumes Super Moshi there is there is there to challenge him again in the Tester Straight leaderboard. And Super Moshi wins again by uh, by the same cheat as before, dropping a double. And Poquito shouts, "No, not again!" He de in devastation. He has the bean stalks. He has the beans over, stating they keep uh, that they keep uh, that they keep him strong. Oh, so yeah. Oh, really? Huh? The unlucky American. Well, I already talked about him on episode 280 of that show, so give that a watch if you haven't seen that episode yet. Oh, um, Music Island Missions, Clock Strikes Back. Poquito has tremendous confidence and, fitting, and a fitty ego, but does not, but does require some validation thereof. He has a strong commitment to the sanctity of the sanctity of the sanctity of the mask, and as he believes everyone has something to hide. You know, he does like he does not like the Super Moshi trying to get him to unmask Candy the Clown, aka Sweet Tooth, and eventually leaves them to fend for her uh, for their own. After ringing the highest striker bell, Bokito comes to Windows Earth's leaderboard and drop at the clubs to come out to to see who won at their rigged game. Upon seeing the Supers fight like musky huskies, a species he respects just like my Fang. Which I'll talk about in future episodes, so stay tuned when it comes out. Um, he agrees to help them, even if that, even it that help, even if if that involves exposing Sweet Tooth. Upon this exposure, Poquito remained speaking of slash addressing them them as Candy and Sashley go. Oh no, um, you're finished today, Candy. The Sippers may know may not know your plans, but they will soon will. What Zotley Go has read, your poison is mine! The quoted by Poquito to Sweet Tooth. In the toy line of the Magnificent Moshi Circus, Poquito is obviously included, but is given a, co a confusing po a position. Peppy has taken over has taken over the summon role, specifically the one with the helmet and the cannon, which was his position. And about Peppy, the stump penguin, he was on episode 297 of this series, so please give it a watch if you haven't seen it yet. It's definitely worth the wait. Um, Lummox, 
Olympics takes that takes on the the strongman role, which was which was the only possible second role Poquito could fill in. And again, Poquito and, and again Lois was on episode two hundred and thirty seven of that show, so give it a watch if you haven't seen as well. And uh, Poquito's previous colleague, Doctor C. Things, joins him once more, but uh, but now as a clown instead of a clairvoyant. So there you go. And uh, again, Doctor C. Things was on episode one hundred and five of the series, so give it a watch if you haven't seen it with that as well. We go into the personality habits. Poquito is a person all about respect, the, the, the sanctity of the mask, and the second identity, which be, which befits him as a luchador. While while a wrestler at heart, he is hired for the circus as a stuntman and is a strong man, a strong man on his own account, constantly testing his prowess. As luchador is in our Mexican, so is Poquito, and he and speaks and speaks with throw in Spanish words. He shares this with fellow, obviously Mexican, Julio. Ooh, Julio, huh? Well, uh, while we're talking about Julio on episode 184 of this series, so please give it a watch if you have that as well. Um, he is aware monsters doubt his strength due to his size, but is confident he, enough to not let that bother him. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Moving over to the design, Poquito is a stout, muscular, humanoid, monster clad in his luchador attire. He he has shiny, he, he has shiny black eyes, with lashes like Captain Squirk, but with a little green twinkle in the that matches the green of his belt. So that's pretty much it. And Captain Squirk was on episode sixty, was on episode sixty of this series. So give it a watch if you haven't seen it yet. This is definitely worth it to wait. I really love it. Finally, for the trivia, in Spanish, when the C precedes an E or an I, it is pronounced like an S. Uh, meaning poquito is pronounced posito. However, in both the season four, uh, in the season, uh, in both the season four mission trader and Aspasa Bob Chops in a cut, pronounce it as poquito. Uh, Buster Bob Chops was on episode fifty four of the series. So give it a watch. If you haven't seen it yet. It's somebody worth the wait. Uh, but poquito made his first appearance in the Super Motion Missions season two advert. He is wearing a mask, but it. He is wearing a mask, but in one of the motion magazines, he was seen without a mask. Mm, that's that's weird. True, every he. Uh, he is one of the monsters that are more human-like appearance. Uh, they're, they're more human-like in appearance. The others are uh, the, the others are Lady Goo Goo, Bobby St. Tom, Baby Rocks, and uh, and Roscoe. Ooh, yeah. Uh, ooh, yeah. I don't, I don't know about that. Uh, Lady Goo Goo was on episode 216. <sighs> If the uh, so give that a watch again. Lady Google was, was on episode two hundred and sixty in the series. Uh, Bobby says all he was on episode thirty eight, and uh, and Baby Rocks was on episode fourteen. So get all these three episodes. Uh, get all these three episodes to watch. Have seen yeah. Roscoe will be in a future episode, so please keep an eye for when it, for when it comes out. Uh, Pink Poquito collects pink teddies, and Poquito's page in the Ultimate Marshley Collector's Marshley Collector's Guide as notes. On how to prepare fried ubu to both yes. So that's pretty much it. And that's it, guys, for Poquito. Find out this ring for this character. Oh my gosh. Poquito is definitely the, the, the best. One of the most iconic monsters of all time. Man, he loves to wrestle. He, he loves to have some fun. Oh man. Do I really love Poquito? Yes, he is. One of the most iconic monsters of all time. I'm glad Poquito is here to say. And besides, Poquito is already in the sleep story. Emoji Sleep of My Fitness, Captain Peck's Sleeping Fire Circus. And I'll react to that all over on Emoji Sleep Story Reactions. In a future episode, so keep an eye for it when it comes out. But with that, my guys, I was getting one said. I'm going to rate Pokey to win the perfect score of 10 out of 10. Yay! Perfect score! Yeah! Oh my gosh. Yes, that's pretty much it. So, a perfect score indeed. Poquito is a 10 out of 10. A perfect score for me. How could you do it? I really love Poquito. That's only my personal and conservative, opinion, and conservative opinion. Please feel free to agree or disagree with any of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Well, guys, that's it. It's over. Thank you all for watching another episode of Moshi Monsters by me as we took a look at Poquito, the mini Wrangler. Please do, don't forget to check out some other cool videos here on the channel as we come as we wait to come back tomorrow for more next exciting episode as we're cutting it down to the, to the to our next Moshi Monster Pop It on episode, which will be on episode 313. So keep an eye out for it when it comes out. But with that, guys, all these was come to an end. The countdown to pop it continues tomorrow. I'm Yugo Sanchez. You guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow on Moshi Monsters Biography. Love you guys. Have a great day. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow.
Oh my gosh, I can't wait for the next episode. We will see you tomorrow for episode 309 as we take a look at Pom Pom, the deep fried side out of the munchies set. Another super washy stick like that here on the show. So get your eyes peeled and get ready because we got because we got a lot of french fries and onion rings Ooh, ready to be served as we as we invite you to come back tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow for episode 309 as we take a look at Pom Pom, the deep fried side. Until tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I'm your guys Sanchez reminding you to please remember to leave a like, share this video with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to never miss a new video. Please, please subscribe and notifications to turn on to never miss another new video from me as we are on the road to 700 subscribers. Thank you for watching. You make it a right to today, and I will see you on the next video. I'm your guys Sanchez. We'll see you in more good content tomorrow. I'm your guys Sanchez. God bless and happy gaming. Like, favorite, subscribe. We'll see you in another video. Laters!